Hey everyone, Tragic here with PackBot 3000 to be manually installed into the pack opening area. Uh, let's see what you got today, PackBot. First up, ooh, a pack of Guild Pact. Who knew that was going to be in there? Certainly not me. Let's see what's in it. Um, uh, before we go, let's turn on the trusty scanner so we know that we're going to scan up all the rares. Any good uncommons and commons that we might find. Here we go. And we'll just kind of sort of look through the commons. I think repeal might have been okay at one time. It's not now. It's not now. If it if it never was, it's not my fault. I was just testing you guys. That's how it is. Restless bones. They're so restless. Trainee. A rune boggle. That's another one that might have been good. And if it's not, it's not my fault. Yep, not my fault. Only 17 cents. Let's look at these uncommons. Caustic Rain, Gruel Guild Mage, and a Rabble Rouser Goblin Shaman Creature. Witch Ma Nephilim is the rare. That's pretty creepy looking there. Whenever you play a spell, you may put two 1 1 counters on Witch Ma Nephilim. Whenever Witch Ma Nephilim attacks, it gains trample until end of turn if its power is 10 or greater. And it costs four colors green, white, blue, and black. I guess I think that that combination is called witch. Check me on that. It's 89 cents. Here we go. Moving on. Pack pot. What's next? A pack of Eldritch Moon. Cool set. Cool cards. On a cool plane of Innistrad. More creepiness ensues. Olivia's Dragoon. Gavany Unhollowed. Other commons, convolute, make mischief. Okay, uncommons, thirsting axe, it's so thirsty. Mockery of nature, mercurial geists, and a niblis of frost. And four, it's a three-three creature spirit flying. It's got prowess. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. That's got some possibilities. We got a midnight scavengers. 70 cents only. Oh, it's been reprinted in Commander 2020, apparently. The original version, still just like 42 cents. So Midnight Scavengers flips into the bottom half of, I think, yeah, with the chittering rats, right? The chittering host. So it is just a common and a spider token. There we go. Next up, Abyssin Restored. Come on. Something good out of this. Abyssin herself has been spiking recently, so that'd be a nice, nice pick out of this pack. Lumber knot, bone splinters, the midvest protector, the wing crafter. I actually like the soul bond mechanic. Um, kind of like to see him bring it back at some point. I'm sure everyone will disagree. Vigilante justice, corpse traders. Appetite for Brains, one of my favorite artworks of all time. I like this card. And a Define Deflection is really nothing big for X and Y. You can prevent the next X damage that will be dealt to you or permanent to control this turn. If damage is permanent this way, Divine Deflection deals that much damage to target creature or player. Got a token. 32 cents. We are really raking it in right now. Got a Foil Mist Raven, just a common. There we go. It's shiny. Okay, here we go. War of the Spark. Let's get it to Fairy. Or let uh, I really hope we get a planeswalker out of this. Whew, wouldn't that be nice? Crush Descent. Teo. Lazatep. A Bloom Hulk. Obnixilis's cruelty. It's a different brand of cruelty than other kinds of cruelties, yeah. Totally lost with Fibble Thip. Law Rune Enforcer. We got Uncommons. Bond of Discipline. Oh, hey, we got a Planeswalker. Liliana's Triumph. A Kazmina Enigmatic Mentor, which I actually love this card. Um, I, I play Super Friends on Arena, and this is one of my enablers. Um, people get very confused when they see this card. We're like, what does it do? Yeah, you have to pay more to heal, kill my stuff. Ignite the Beacon is the rare. For five, search your library for up to two Planeswalker cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. Actually, don't use this card with my Super Friends deck. 
kind of costs a lot. There we go, a zombie token. Next up, Eventide. Going way back. What is in here? A Marrow Levitator is in here. What else? A Mimic, Desecrator Hag, a Trow, a Bandit, a Hopper, a Dragoon, Talara's Bane, a Kelpie, a Zealot. Drain the Well. Here's the rules and tip card for Wither. Right in the middle of everything. Interesting. 15th anniversary of Magic the Gathering. You make the game. Thank you. No, thank you, Wizards of the Coast. Enough said. Bloodied Ghost, Noggle, Ransacker, Siphon Life, and a Regal Force. Pretty good card. For seven, it's a 5-5. Five, five. When Regal Force comes into play, draw a card for each green creature you control. Well, if you're playing this, you got a bunch of green creatures out there, so I imagine it's eh, maybe a buck or two. What did I tell you? Buck 95. There we go. <clears throat> Moving right along. What is up next? 2015 Corset. Slivers, please. Forge Devil. Some Spirits. A Necromancer's Assistant. An Encrust. A Goblin Rough Rider. Yep. Indeed, that is what is happening right there. Ornithopter. Hot Soup coming through. Staff of the Wild Magus. Staff of the Mind Magus. Sure, why not? And a Polymorphist's Jest. For three, it's an instant until end of turn. Each creature target player controls loses all abilities and becomes a blue frog with base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. It's pretty funny. The flies were bothering. Jalira Master Polymorphist. There's your flavor text there. Buck, buck 05 for that one. And an insect token. All right, we are not breaking the bank on these packs here, but at least we're having fun. Come on, there's got to be something good in this Cold Snap pack, right? Am I right? A Braid of Fire. There we dream for a Dark Depth. Let's see, Frost Raptor. Snow Covered Forest. We're going to scan that right now. Let's see. It's 78 cents. It's worth pulling over there. Chilling Shade. Goblin Furrier. Gotta keep those goblins warm. Griffin, Serpent, Martyr of Bones. Some of the martyrs, I think the, the white martyr is a little bit. Sun's Bounty, a Thermopod, a Simeon Brawler. Got my comments here. Let's check this Martyr of Bones first. It's nothing. Frost Marsh might be a little bit. Yeah, there we go, because it's like a snow land, right? Can't go wrong. A Gristle Grinner. It certainly is. Hey! That was what I was hoping to see. Dark Depths right there. Legendary Snow Land. Dark Depths comes into play with 10 ice counters on it. Pay 3, remove an ice counter from Dark Depths. When Dark Depths has no ice counters on it, sacrifice it. If you do, put an indestructible legendary 2020 Black Avatar creature token with flying named Merit Lodge into play. Don't mind if I do. Very cool card. It has come down a bit. I think it's not quite played as often as much as it used to be. And it was reprinted in Ultimate Masters, I believe. So $29.90. Pretty solid. Definitely, um, like the art, I get it. Yeah, that's what that is. But it, it could be a little more dynamic, you know. But what do I know? There we go. That's a hit. Mystic Melting is a foil. I don't think that's a big one. As a foil, it's apparently 75 cents, so we'll pull it there. There we go. Okay. Zendikar. Some good possibilities here. Maybe. Possibly. Let's see. There's some adventuring gear, and I can't remember if this is a good one or not. I'm going to scan it. It's nothing big. Gorger. A trap. A hatchling, tangle sap, goblin bushwhacker. This is one that I usually pick when I uh, do collections. Yeah, 99 cents. That's pickable. A colony gem and a coom refuge. And I'm spoiling the rare there, but I don't even know what it is. Rune flare trap, archmage ascension. It's not a fetch land, unfortunately. 
uh, enchantment for three. At the beginning of each end step, if you draw two or more cards this turn, you may put a quest counter on Archmage Ascension. As long as Archmage Ascension has six or more quest counters on it, if you draw a card, you may instead search your library for a card, put the card into your hand, then shuffle your library. I think there's quicker ways to get cards out of your library, but it's a rare card that's a buck at least, so there we go. And a full art forest that is really cool. And a zombie giant with three jaws. That's a three-jawed zombie giant right there. Oop, we got a full Vastwood Gorger. And full art uh, lands, even though their originals are not quite what they used to be, but we'll pull it anyway. Okay. Next up, a pack of Gate Crash. Which pretty much fell apart as I was messing with it. There we go. A mugging. A midnight recovery. Guild Gate. Spell Rupture. Ruffian. Uncommons, Debtor's Pulpit, Urban Evolution, Guardian of the Gateless, and a Sylvan Primordial. For seven, it's a creature avatar, 6-8 with reach. As it enters the battlefield for each opponent, destroy target non-creature permanent that player controls for each permanent destroyed this way. Search your library for a force card, put that card on the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Um, pretty good commander card right there. We got a foil aerial maneuver. 45 cents is all we get out of that though. Okay. Soldier. Okay. Last pack is this mystery booster. It's a mystery. What is going to be in here? Thanks for watching, by the way. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, okay. Oh, right, right. Right. White. Uncommon. Blue. Uncommon. Black. Just commons. Act on Impulse and Avarax, I think it's cool. Siege Worm, Priest of Titania, that one is scannable. 413, very good. An Esper Charm uh, from uh, Commander. Mystery Booster, just a little bit. Cold Steel Heart. Ooh, Sakashima the Imposter, that's a good rare right there. Cold Steel Heart, the original would be three bucks. The Mystery Booster, probably a little bit less. But Sakashima the Imposter and a Mind Shatter and Foil Trailblazer's Boots is what we end up with. Sakashima is 4 for a Legendary Human Rogue. It's 3-1. As Sakashima comes into play, you may choose a creature in play. If you do, Sakashima comes into play as a copy of that creature, except its name is still this. It's still Legendary, and it gains. Pay 4, return Sakashima the Imposter to its owner's hand at end of turn. Uh, the original one is worth quite a bit. The mystery, yeah, there you go, 24 bucks. But the mystery booster version is a little less than half of that. Still, pretty good pull, 9.91. There we go. Mind shatter, probably quite a bit less. Yeah, 35 cents for the original. The booster version, shockingly, is less. Foil Trailblazer's boots. I'm just curious. Yeah, the original would have been pretty good. Original Zendikar, 550 for a foil, but the Mystery Booster version is a buck thirty-five. There we go. Sixty-two bucks out of my packs that were a little more than sixty-two bucks, probably. But uh, I did get a Dark Depths, and I had fun showing off. So there we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Tragic. Sand. See you later.